I don't care. I actually personally don't care what people want to believe. This country was founded on religious freedoms. That's kind of, that's, that's how that happened. Okay? And what enabled the religious freedoms is that our Constitution makes no mention of God at all, which means nobody's God reigns supreme over anybody else's. And therein is the religious freedom that attracted all these waves of immigrants for centuries. And so, I don't, ha I don't have an issue with what you do in the church. But I'm going to be up in your face if you're going to knock on my science classroom and tell me that I got to teach what you're teaching in your Sunday school, because that's when we're going to fight. And I'm going to tell you something. There's no tradition of scientists knocking down the Sunday school door, telling the preacher, that might not necessarily be true. That's never happened. There are no scientists picketing out front of churches. There's been this coexistence forever. So to have the religious communities knocking down the science door, there's something wrong there. And I think back to Al-Ghazali and the 12th century and the fall of that intellectual empire. And it's got me scared in America. I wrote, do you remember that case in Jersey where this middle school kid, oh, forgive me, I forgot his name, I met him, Matthew LeClaire, do you remember, remember this? He, it is in his history class, the teacher was saying that Jesus is, is the only one in true saving, Christianity is the only one in true religion, and if you are not, you are damned to hell. And he pointed to a Muslim girl and said, she's damned to hell already, it's too late for her, and that Noah's Ark carried dinosaurs on it, and that the Big Bang and evolution are, 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 are not scientific. He recorded this and submitted it to the New York Times. And it became a whole expose on this teacher. And then what happened? The ACLU came out and separation of church and state. And it's a violation of the separation of church and state. And I said, you know, I don't normally get in those arguments because I got other, I got the universe to worry about. I don't normally, <laughs> I let that go. But then I thought, no, people are missing something here. It's not a, it's not a case of a separation of church and state. It's not, it's not. Okay? I looked at the comments and the transcript. I ignored the part about Jesus being your savior. I ignored the part about Christianity being the one and tr true religion. I paid attention to the statement that Noah's Ark carried dinosaurs, okay? And so, I said, I wrote a letter to the editor of the New York Times that they printed, and I will read to you. To the editor. People cited violation of the First Amendment when a New Jersey school teacher asserted that evolution and the Big Bang are not scientific and that Noah's Ark carried dinosaurs. The case is not about the need to separate church and state. It's about the need to separate ignorant, scientifically illiterate people from the ranks of teachers. 